guys, on to the change primary chain case lubricant and replacing the derby cover. Um, 2020 Harley Davidson Milwaukee Heat Street Bomb. Uh, we got a T25 Torx for the cover and the drain plug's the same as the other two, uh, 5 eighths. Um, just to go over a couple of things real quick before we start. Um, you need about 36 ounces, a quart is 32, um, so 32 plus the four that we used in our transmission change equals the approximate amount that we need. And if you read there on note one, the amount is approximate. You want to get your bike up off the kickstand uh, on a level surface. We don't have a bike stand, so we got a... Uh, tie down to the bike standing up straight we got it pretty straight uh, not perfect but it, it, it should do uh, not everyone has a, a stand that's seen some pretty good deals on them so 100 250 bucks for one that is a minimal lift um, and then pay attention to your pattern when you take them off and put them on make sure you tighten them in this pattern Otherwise, you'll have leaks and other issues um, just because you didn't take the time to do the proper pattern. So, if you don't have a manual, I'm going to try to show you everything. This is where you're filling it to. So, that's why it's an approximate amount. If it takes less, it takes less. It takes more, it takes more. I mean, it shouldn't be too far off on the, on the ounces, though. Um, you want to make sure that's, that's at the right level in order to get adequate lubrication, but not over lubrication. Super important. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna start draining this out. Um, you got the plug right under, there it is, right under the derby cup in the front. We will loosen it up, drain it out, and we'll take this off. Alright guys, it's been draining. I'm going to show you this. You see a lot of these gold flakes in the fluid that's draining out. So it's super important to change this out. And uh, pay attention to the placement of this gasket in here so it can go back the same way that it was in before. And every time you take this off, you want to do this gasket unless you want to deal with leaks. Just like the other drain plugs, this one has a magnet on the bottom. Go ahead and clean that off. All that. Not better. Uh, I'm gonna clean off the rest of that, clean some of that uh, gunk off there, and uh, replace that ring. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, we torqued the uh, the drain bolt down the same as the uh, other two drain bolts. The oil in transmission, 14 to 21 foot pounds, and. We are now going to fill up with this fancy funnel. Um, remember, it's about uh, 38 ounces, or sorry, 36 ounces, or whatever it takes to get that height. Yeah. And we put it all back together. So let's add this. Alright guys, so the picture is a little deceiving in the manual. It shows uh, kind of a different configuration. Um, I found a different picture because I added about 40 ounces, which would be the dry fill. And it's not close to what the picture looks like on this, on this ring. See, it's not even at the bottom. So this outer ring uh, is uh, it's filled to the bottom of that and you can't really see it. Uh, you kind of can, but I added 40 ounces and I stopped um, and then I verified right here between these two bolts on the case Right here these two bolts about halfway you follow out and The levels right where it should be so we're gonna take our new gasket 
feeder in there. New gasket in place. Supposed to be tightened at 25 to 35 inch pounds. Hey guys, new cover installed. Job complete. Uh, if you have any questions, write it in the comments. Let me know how I did. I'm not a professional, I'm not a tech. Uh, helpful hints to help you do basic maintenance on your bike. Um, give me a like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if have any ideas or projects that you think that I should do or post for anyone or let me know. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good night.